Hello, everyone, and welcome to Channel 781 Headlines. Waltham Public Library has announced that they are changing their hours for the rest of the summer due to problems with their HVAC system. According to a statement from the library director, five of the library's seven air conditioning units are broken, and temperatures inside the library often get into the 90s. The library will be open 8 a.m. to noon and 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Thursday and 8 to 12 only Friday through Sunday, allowing them to close during the hottest part of the day. They use Freon-based air conditioners, which are no longer manufactured, so their system can't be repaired and must be redesigned. The City Council approved funding for the redesign in March of last year, but the work is not expected to be complete until the middle of next year. On June 13th, Mayor McCarthy spoke at the Waltham Chamber of Commerce's Women in Business event. In her talk, which aired last week on WCAC, she gave updates on several city projects and issues. In response to a question about the proposed solar plant in Lexington, which would abut a Waltham neighborhood near the Cambridge Reservoir, she said Waltham is planning on filing a court action. The news is as follows. One, the developer has filed an appeal and I'm not going to say much about it because you know how I am about pending litigation. The developer has filed an appeal in the land court. The city of Cambridge has filed an action in Superior Court. And the city of Waltham today will be filing an action as well. In which court? I believe it's Superior. Middlesex Superior Court? Yeah. I believe it's Superior. They were making an analysis of which court to go into. And today was, they were supposed to tell me which one they decided. So that's all I can say about that matter. Um, they, I can say that a lot of people did a very good job going before there. And people say, you know, solar energy is good. But when you, you have to compare that. And that's all I can say right now. You have to compare that with what solar parts are made out of. And we had a fire, solar fire in Waltham, we did, at, McDev at MacArthur School. But that's all I can say because it's in litigation as far as I know with the city now. But Cambridge joined first. Yeah. Mayor McCarthy also shared some new info on her plans for the former site of the Fernald Institution. In addition to the recreational amenities and memorial currently in the approval process, she said the site will have an outdoor theater and a portion will be used for housing. She said she is working on the memorial with input from a group of legal guardians of former Fernald residents led by Regina Davidson, the sister of a former resident. Davidson was part of the movement that worked to keep institutions like the Fernald open, rejecting alternatives such as group homes. And in 2014, she was a plaintiff on a lawsuit asking a federal court to bar the state of Massachusetts from closing Fernald. Mayor McCarthy also said the plan to include a train on the site was based on her own experience attending social events at the Fernald and observing that the residents enjoyed carnival rides. You can find a clip of her comments on our YouTube channel. The City Council is on summer break, but the Zoning Board of Appeals will be meeting on Tuesday the 18th. The School Committee will meet on Wednesday the 19th, and they'll be interviewing candidates for the position of interim superintendent. Free summer concerts on Waltham Common have started on Tuesday evenings, and this coming Tuesday, the 19th, Watch City Cadillacs will be performing. This month's critical mass bike ride will be on the 29th, starting at City Hall at 1 p.m. And the next thing we post will be a special episode of our debrief show. That's a recap of the first half of this year. So it's a good opportunity to get caught up on several different issues that have been discussed in the city council as we get closer to the preliminary election in September. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.